Welcome back. We continue to track a developing story today. A threat of a weapon on campus at Paso Robles High School forced hundreds of students to shelter in place. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live from Paso Robles High School, high school to explain what happened. Alexa? Karina, officials say that they got word that a student possibly hid guns in or around the Paso Robles High School campus. Now that's when students from four different schools were told to stay in their classrooms. The gates outside Paso Robles High School were locked Tuesday afternoon. I'm nervous, upset about it. Parents waited outside the school while inside dozens of officers searched classrooms and students. It was not specifically a threat. It was a concern that was brought through social media from one student. Officials responded to the campus around 11 a.m. Just after noon, students from Paso Robles High, Liberty and Independence High Schools in Lewis Middle sheltered in place. We received some um, information that there could be weapons hidden around or on campus today. This came after police met with a Paso Robles High School student who told investigators that he received a Snapchat message from another student holding a handgun. Students were not able to leave their classrooms for three hours, but learning continued as officers investigated. Again, there was no specific threat today against a person or um, someone of ethnic um, uh, diversity. This was just the fact that someone heard through social media through the grapevine that there could be something hidden on campus. Elsewhere, officers scoured Centennial Park in Lewis Middle School. Uh, the specific allegation came that it may be hidden at Centennial Park or in an alley behind the schools that we've uh, fully investigated, walked. Uh, we have drug dogs and uh, uh, trained staff that are ensuring there's no gunpowder, explosive materials or items. Paso Robles police confirmed Tuesday afternoon no guns were found. And the lockdown was lifted just after 3 p.m. Now officers from six different agencies helped with that search. For now, live and local in Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News.